An ellipse has the equation x squared over 9 plus y squared is equal to 1. So this is an ellipse. So you should be knowing that the center of this ellipse is 0, 0. And, uh, and that's enough to know. A rectangle is inside an ellipse with its vertices on the ellipse as shown. So this is a rectangle and uh, the question is find the maximum area of the rectangle. So to maximize the area of the rectangle we need to write this uh, the area of the rectangle in terms of x and y. Okay so let's draw an axis say this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So as we know the center is 0, 0 so this point is the center 0, 0 and we are taking the origin as the center. And let's take an arbitrary point P here and say that is x comma y. The coordinate is x comma y. Okay, now if this coordinate is x comma y, you can understand suppose say this is A and say this is O. You, you should be able to understand that o, X, o A is X and A P is Y. So if uh, O A is X and A P is Y, the length of the rectangle, I hope you understand, becomes 2X. The length is 2X and the width is 4Y, sorry 2Y. The width is 2Y. So the area of this rectangle in terms of x and y would be 2x times 2y which is 4xy. Okay, so now is you have to write this in terms of x or y. So can we find, find an expression of y in terms of x? Well, we have got this equation x squared over 9 plus y squared is equal to 1. So, well, taking away x squared over 9 from both sides, I can say y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared over 9. That is same as 9 over 9 minus x squared over 9. To have a common denominator, so x squared is equal to 9 minus x squared over 9. So my intention is to write y in terms of x, so taking square root of both sides, I hope you understand this would be square root of 9 minus x squared divided by 9. Now square root of 9 is 3, so to simplify this, y in terms of x is 9 minus x squared divided by 3. So now I can say, well, area a in terms of, in place of y I can put square root of 9 minus x squared over 3, so this is 4x times square root of 9 minus x squared divided by 3. So A as a function of x is 4 over 3x times square root of 9 minus x squared. Okay, so now simplifying this area as a function of x is 4 over x, 4 over 3x times 9 minus x squared raised to half. So this is the function of area in terms of x. Now I want you to pause this video and try to do the next part yourself. I'll come back. So basically to maximize this, you have to differentiate this, set it equal to 0 and find the value of x. So uh, the area as a function of x is 4 over 3 x times 9 minus x squared to the power half. Now to maximize, so now we can say well for maximum area, for maximum area dA by dx should be 0. 
so let's differentiate that so so let me scroll up so differentiating this with respect to x so we'll say with d a by d x now this is where you use the product rule so here you got two function one is x and then this is 9 minus x squared to the power half so when you're differentiating this you have to use the composite rule so here basically we're using two rules you have to use the product rule and the composite rule so let me rewrite like this so you can put the 4 over 3 out like this now not to do mistakes so what we are doing is we are differentiating x so we'll say well d by dx of x times the second function which is 9 minus x squared to the power half just like that plus d by dx of the second function which is 9 minus x squared to the power half times x so this is the product row so well this implies so this is equal to 4 over 3 would remain outside and then we go what is d by, what is the d, uh, what is the derivative of x well that is 1 times the second function as it is which is 9 minus x squared to the power half plus now this is where you have to be careful here you have to differentiate the inside first and then the outside or you can differentiate the outside first and then the inside I personally like to differentiate the inside so differentiating inside here you've got minus x squared so when you're differentiating minus x squared you have minus 2x times the outside so you drop the power down which is 1 over 2 times 9 minus x squared and you decrease this by 1 so half take away 1 is negative half times this x don't forget that x so this let's simplify this a little so this is 4 over 3 times this is uh, this is uh, square root of 9 minus x squared you got a plus and a minus so that will be a minus so this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and you got an x you got an x here you got an x and you got an x here so that becomes x squared times 9 minus x squared 9 minus x squared raised to negative half so again let's simplify this so this is 4 over 3 times square root of 9 minus x squared minus x squared now this is raised to negative half is same as 1 over this so that is basically square root of 9 minus x squared which is equal to so now I'm going to say set that equal to 0 so we can say da by dx is that is equal to 0 okay so we're almost there so let's multiply both sides with 3 over 4 so this becomes square root of 9 minus x squared minus x squared over square root of 9 minus x squared is equal to 0 so the next step is square root of we're adding this to both sides so that will become x squared divided by square root of 9 minus x squared so let me finish off here so cross multiplying or multiplying both sides by 1 square root of 9 minus x squared so this is square root of 9 minus x squared times square root of 9 minus x squared is equal to x squared so square root of 9 minus x squared times square root of 9 minus x squared is square root of 9 minus x squared the whole squared is equal to x squared so here we can say what is so square and square root cancel each other out so we can say 9 minus x squared 
is equal to x squared. So this is 2x squared is equal to 9. So x squared is equal to 9 over 2, which implies x taking square root of both sides is 3 over root 2. So the length of x should be 3 over root 2. Okay, so what is y? So let's go back. So we need both of this. Okay, so what do we know? We know, so let's go back to y because area. So what is area? Area is 4xy. Okay, and what was y? y, so let's go back y was where is y okay so y is a function of yes y is a function of x is this so y is square root of 9 minus x squared divided by 3 that is y so let's find out y so uh, y is square root of 9 minus x squared over 3. So, so this is y is square root of 9 minus 9, uh, 9 minus 4.5 okay because x squared is 9 over 2 which is 4.5 divided by 3. So, which is basically square root of 4.5 divided by 3. So, the maximum area you get when x is 3 over root 2 times square root of 4.5 divided by 3. So, this is the exact answer. You can simplify this. So, let's confirm this graphically also. Okay, so go to so run menu. So it is four. So this is four times three times shift square root of four point five that's that number divided by let me write this 3 times shift root 2 and this is your exact answer so the exact answer is 6 okay you can simplify this so the area is exactly 6 6 units squared so now to confirm your answer I like always to confirm my answer so if you know this function, so let's confirm the area, the maximum area should be 6 unit squared. Now if you have a graphic calculator, you can confirm your answer by plugging in this original function in the graph. Sorry, yeah, in the graph, go to graph, and uh, you have to be careful in typing in this. So this is 4 x 4x bracket 9 minus x squared uh, raised to 0 0.5 divided by x and then graph it so it doesn't so let's go zoom out and auto so this is your graph okay and maximum is yeah so I go G sol and maximum oops what's happening okay hopefully now they divided by not X divided by 3 it's good to always check because 4x times 9 minus x squared raised to 0 0.5 divided by 3 yeah so it's a yeah it's a graph like this very interesting graph so this is a maximum so go G sol and maximum 
So this is your x value and y is your area. So when x is 2.12, you get the maximum area of 6.